You're listening to the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring attorney, guest, and former felony prosecutor Eric Faddis. Judge Gull is back at it in the Delphi murder case and the charges against Richard Allen. And, and so are Baldwin and Rossi, his attorneys. They've requested uh, another Franks hearing because if you remember in the last episode uh, of this drama, uh, that was Del pushed to the side when they got kicked off of the case. But they're back on. They want to pick it up where it left off. Judge Gull saying, sorry, guys, not going to happen. Uh, so no Franks hearing. Also denying uh, several other motions, the defense's motion uh, to mine regarding the unspent shell casing. All these denials coming without any sort of hearings. I guess it's really kind of par for the course for Judge Gull in this case. But again, back to optics. Eric Faddis, attorney, joining us uh, to discuss. Well, she's right back at it full force, isn't she? Without uh, any sort of. I don't know, uh, taking a step back, maybe going, this really looks prejudicial more than you already have been. Uh, what's your thoughts on where this is sitting right now with Baldwin and Rice, Rossi back on the case uh, and Judge Gull still uh, very much being in place? Yeah, you know, we, we want this idea of, of, of there to be impartial judges who are unbiased, who's going to give each side a fair shake. And when we have, you know, time after time, ruling after ruling against one side, and without even so much as a hearing, people start, start to raise some eyebrows. People start to say, gosh, is this guy really getting a fair trial? And, and especially in such a huge case and such inflammatory allegations as Richard Allen is facing, um, I think a lot of people are starting to wonder, are things looking a little one-sided? How common is it? Because, I mean, we're keeping a, a close eye in this case, and a lot of people, you know, watch very specific cases and not super immersed in the legal system at all times to compare and contrast uh, the frequency at which things like this happen. How common is it for a judge to deny hearings on uh, allegations like this, like you said, that are very inflammatory just to make a ruling without ever hearing arguments? It's alarmingly common. And I remember I, I used to be a prosecutor. Yeah. So it was so nice, like being a baby DA and, you know, always winning the hearing, even even if I sucked. Uh, uh, it was it was with the prosecution who would almost always win and the defense who would almost always lose. And it sucks being on, on the losing side of that. Look, all they're asking for in, in this matter, at least in, in part of their motion, is a hearing. They're just, they're, they just want to get some witnesses up there, have the judge get a little more information, a little more evidence, and then make the decision. The judge is saying, hey, I'm not even going to hear you out. And I think that's the wrong move. And I think it, it uh, potentially creates a ground for appeal. There's obviously a lot of grounds for appeal here. I've been kind of joking. It's like he has a get a new trial free card, not get out of jail free card, because well, he's not even in jail. He's in prison. So... <laughs> That's a whole other aspect right. of this case. But yeah, I mean, it almost feels like that's going to happen uh, regardless. I mean, wh why not hear these arguments? I mean, is this something that is Judge Gull seeing this as a boon to her? I know she has ambitions to get on that Supreme Court and continue to advance her career. Obviously, she thinks fairly highly of herself. You know, is this is there a strategy here? Is this does this look good for the powers that be within Indiana for advancing her career to be as hard as she is being on this and is she looking at it as being hard and everyone else is looking at it as being very, you know, if not ignorant, but a very one-sided on this. Oh, sure. I mean, this tough law and order persona that in, in many circles it is more likely to lead to advancement than someone who might have to make an unpopular decision, such as like ruling in favor of a defendant whom a lot of people don't like. And so, you know, is that what's going on? I'm not quite sure. But the hearing, all, all they're requesting, a Frank's hearing is essentially where the law enforcement gets on the stand. Defense is saying either law enforcement was inaccurate in something they put into a warrant or that they left out something really important in that warrant that should change the legal ruling. And so all it would take is getting the police officer up there, a asking a few questions, and then the judge could make the decision with that additional information. The judge is sort of, you know, as some people might view pompously saying, hey, I don't need that additional information. I know absolutely what the right ruling is, and I'm going to yeah. hand it down without even a hearing. Well, that's like, it's just not how our system works. I mean, and to say that we're not, I'm just not going to follow the rules or I have enough power. I don't have to follow the rules is really what this kind of feels like. 
Yeah, you know, it's it's sort of like I said, it feels very one sided. And and Richard Allen, there have been some stuff that raises a lot of eyebrows here, including this Odinist stuff with law enforcement. And Richard Allen should have a fair shot at raising that and getting it to a hearing uh, and having that information in front of the judge and being able to ask questions and investigate and explore. And he's not being able, he's not being allowed any of that mm -hmm. in his you know third incarceration facility that he's in now, or might even be more than three. Just a bizarre term of offense that, that a lot of people might see as unfair. Want to listen ad-free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.